Hello everyone, how's it going tonight? Here I am again with some more Mega Man Legends 2. Possibly uh, the last stream of my first playthrough of it, because I feel like I'm approaching the end of the game. Don't tell me, but I'm pretty sure I'm at the end of the game, like the end game area. It's got that vibe, Elysium, like the sky. It's literally a different planet and stuff, so yeah. And then we learn that there's this uh, Mistress Sarah, apparently and uh, she's our enemy, and we have to defeat her, so... Final boss? Possibly? We'll see. Only time will tell. But I'm expecting... I'm expecting that, at least, so... Let's go ahead and continue where we left off. Speaking of, where did we leave off? Oh, here we are. Elysium Pad. That's probably it. So I did do a little bit of exploring of this place, particularly of the first floor. And, uh, yeah, we'll explore more of this place then. Yeah, it's... Yeah, it's uh, pr pretty eerie, all right. There's data here. Where did I last leave off, anyways? That's my... stuff. Okay, had some pretty dang good buster part. Yeah, like, look at that. <laughs> that rapid, that attack. Pretty dang amazing, honestly. Okay, yeah, let's see the... Oh yeah, this is the yeah, this is the first floor, I guess. Well, I guess we'll go guess we'll go to the defense area, which is uh this area here. Yeah, I was uh in a bit of this area before, so, so I've, I have explored some of this place. And then this goes over here. There's also some gravity shenanigans going on, which is Always fun though when that occurs. Let's see, where are these other well, I'm just gonna see if I can find uh what the heck the elevators are. Okay, that's probably the elevator right there on my map, so I'll just uh, continue on until I get there. Also, yeah, the gra yeah, gravity's definitely funny in this spot. Oh, what? <laughs> I must have sure making uh, some quick work of these guys, though. <laughs> Is uh, pretty sick, honestly. <laughs> and hey, the music's pretty cool too. So you know, the bot. Oh I, th oh, I think this is the room with, like, the high gravity, like, the floor there. But yeah, I've already explored there, so, you know, it's fine. Oh, we got, like, uh... Fiery river bots now, huh? Whatever that thing is. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen the fiery reaver bots appear before, that's for sure. But hey, I've got homing missiles, I'm not afraid to use them. <laughs> and a pretty dang strong buster at that. <laughs> yeah, just like destroying these guys, holy heck. Even if the gravity's all of a sudden really dang high, so, you know. There's a spot to control the gravity over here, I think. Might set it to low gravity for the moment. Sure. Decrease gravity, sure, why not? Because <laughs> that's fun. <laughs> <laughs> we. <laughs> oh no! Ah! <laughs> I hate these things. <laughs> like I actually hate those things. Oh, okay, they're back. Okay, guess I'm hugging some walls. I know they're going to be around this area. Man, 
Man, those things, those things kind of suck. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. And I think in the next room there's stuff that like, like disable my buster and stuff. So I do have to be careful. Okay. Just want to make sure I'm going the right way too. Okay, I appear to be going the right way. those guys. Yeah, I think there are going to be more of those, uh... Oh, of course it's locked. Oh, wait. I think I have to set the gravity to... Might have to set the gravity to hut. Uh-oh. Okay, or maybe just, just kill everything. That'll work, too. I mean, everything that I can do. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> Uh-oh, well, that happened. Oh, I just realized, too, this is eating up my, uh... What's it called? It's eating up my, uh... Eating up my special weapon energy. That stats effect. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty nasty one. You know that's what that does now. I just thought you you just couldn't fire Buster, but yeah, apparently eats up your special weapon energy. Reminds me of that similar uh, thing in like I don't know. I'm trying to think. I know Tales of Vesperia had a stats effect like that, called contamination, that did not eat your health, but rather your. Uh, Not your health, but your, like, uh, TP, I guess. Hi. Hello. <laughs> well, there's no problem. <laughs> yeah, so far so good. Only had to use a medicine bottle once, it's not too bad. I do have a hyper cartridge, don't I? Yeah, I do. And a picnic lunch in case I need it, so that's kind of nice. Okay, now I just have to remember, like, which way is which here. Only spots is to change the gravity. Yeah, I think it's that area there. Oh, hi. <laughs> My buster is short range, but it's not like I need a lot of range. Remember me? <laughs> hey, little snaker, what's up? Yeah, I remember you. Remember me? <laughs> How's it going with you, by the way? Me, yeah, I'm pretty well myself, though. Yeah, I've been a bit busy lately, so. I can just scream when I can, anyways. Oh, I remember, I, re I remember these guys. They're shooting bubbles at me. <laughs> Yeah, that's okay though, they're all dead. Not like I need that much that much money anyways, but you know. <laughs> 5 a.m. waiting for gamer to stream. Nice, yeah. Getting your CC, yeah, oh yeah, that's fair. Hey, full health, I don't mind that. So we'll continue going over here. <laughs> I think I'm in the last area of the game, by the way, for the record, so... Binge gravity... I'll decrease it, because that's fun. <laughs> of course, that means these guys can now crawl on the ceiling and t drop all manner of bombs. <laughs> Hehehe. <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, what did I say? It was fun, right? Ow. <laughs> hey, more, uh... Oh, come on. Okay. Make sure to get those uh, cubes of health and stuff, but yeah. You're, oh, crowd! Oh yeah, crowd control. Okay, that's what that's what CC meant. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Had to remember what that was. <laughs> yeah, I have. I've been away from Twitch for a bit. How can you tell? Okay, I guess we'll continue on in this area then. Yeah, whatever the heck is next. Hey, it's these guys, these guys again. So they're like boomerang, uh, boomerang, I don't know what they are. Fists? Something like that? Boomerang balls? I don't know. Okay, I know what that guy is, though. I just want him dead. <laughs> Okay, so far so good. Yeah, that's that's something like it's gonna be fun. Okay, so this as of now, this part's completely unexplored. So we'll see what madness we have up here, but yeah. For tonight. Spooky is jump scare mention. Oh no. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's good. That's gonna be something, all right. Okay, well, there's something in here. I don't see it very well. I just know it has to die. Uh oh. Okay, that's uh. That's a hot floor, all right. I don't know what the heck that was, but there was something. Okay, so we got two doors over here. Of course, I gotta do the thing I do, which is explore all the map tiles and stuff. I don't want to go to the right first. I can? No, <laughs> no, not these things again. <laughs> God, ah, <laughs> that's scary. I'm missing something here, but yeah. Okay, maybe this is okay. Maybe this is the door. Yeah, this is the door. Okay, cool. Wasn't obvious at first. Oh, I get it. So the, okay, so these guys spawn those uh, fiery reaver bots. Okay, I got it. There's something behind that door and I don't like it. Let's go around the other way here. 
Oh, okay, there we go. Nope. <laughs> yeah, you go to rapid fire. Okay, I guess they, these all lead to the same spot, so... You know what that means. Okay, seems like the path is pretty linear so far. Well, I say that, and now we got some branching paths, folks. Go this way first. Never hurts to be a little cautious, right? Okay, well, apparently that one's locked. So, interesting. Guess we can go this way. Oh, okay. Well, we have this. These guys again. <laughs> Ow. Rude. Yeah, these like spider thingies. <laughs> Reaper spiders, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what to call them. Probably Re Reaper spiders, I guess. But you know, kind of remind me of like the ones from the first Mega Man Legends game. Except those were like quite a bit easier to defeat. anything in this room at all like Get over here no it doesn't look like it I guess guess just a room to fight stuff okay sure oh okay Either way, that open the way, so well, that's cool. Okay, I'm not sure if I want to go through that yet. We'll try the other path. Okay, there's another one of these things. <laughs> Ton of them. <laughs> oh, wait, I remember seeing these guys in that uh, fire dungeon. If I remember right, that's. Yeah, so these guys just like spawn like a bunch of these fire reaver bots. Okay, that makes sense. came this way cuz uh oh nope it's not <laughs> the trap <laughs> and this one's uh, also a trap no okay this is a real treasure 
What's that? Sniper unit Omega. Okay. That sounds that sounds good. There it is. Hey, the thing is, what does it do? Probably here. Oh yeah, here we go. Hey, it's like energy and range, which is like, eh. If I need range, I'll put that on, I guess. I think my setup's pretty good right now, but. I can always change it la later as needs arise, so, you know. <laughs> Man, low gravity's fun. Okay, so I think I have to go... Yeah, this way is off to the left and straight and stuff. Okay. <laughs> Just trying to figure out my way ar around this big dungeon. Clear that room. Okay, it's this spot that I don't know what's behind it. Okay. Well, there's heavy gravity, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, that's always that's always interesting, so. <laughs> Keeps it interesting and fun, you know. I'm gonna do the thing of trying to explore the map too, because that's like, that's what I do in a Mega Man Legends game. I'm getting a decent amount of Zenny for this too, which is nice. Yeah, if this is the final area, it's like, Definitely giving off those vibes, anyways. Oh! Oh, okay, we have a... Uh... Uh-oh, I can't <laughs> bring myself up. Oh, okay, there might be something down here, though. Okay, is this... A... Oh, that's a treasure. 36,000 zenny, nice. be a machine to get me out of Okay, here we go. Data download. Let's see this. Medical lab control system. All medical and related facilities are currently being readied in preparation for execution of the carbon reinitialization program. Yeah, in other words, like, killing people. <laughs> Basically. Access to medical systems by non-mother units is prohibited. Units are instructed to contact mother if maintenance is required. Okay, well, we'll uh, change the gravity down to low gravity again. <laughs> Where's here? Okay, I don't think so. Oh, if I, have, if I can get myself out, that would be great. There we are. <laughs> now I can pull myself up. Which way should it go, though? Left? Left or... West or north? Let's go west for now. It's actually a somewhat ominous looking room. Okay, well, that's... High gravity area ahead. So... stuff on top of this. No, okay. It's just like a kind of generator type unit. Yeah, let's go this other way first. I'll check it out. Four of these guys, jeez. <laughs> Oh, 
So many reaver bots. So little time. <laughs> oh no! Ah! <laughs> no! <laughs> Ow. Something tells me there's something harder about this room now that there's like one of those like freaking traps there. <laughs> Must have been like right in the middle or something. Probably. Ooh, what is this? Oh, I see a chest. <laughs> a chest and it probably has something cool in it. Hey, I can jump over the wall. Oh yeah, look at this. 10,000 zenny, okay. We'll take it. Another control console over here. Gravity can be changed, yep, for sure. Warp gate control system. Maintenance is required on warp gates and living area. Currently sealed off. Maintenance will be performed on all gates and living area after activation of carbon reinitialization program. I don't like the sounds of that. That's for sure. Yeah, we don't want the carbons to get reinitialized. Please hack no. Yeah, I'll try and fight these guys by staying, like, relatively still this time. Or at least hugging the walls. Ow. Yay, iframes. Aren't iframes amazing? <laughs> Glory of iframes. Aside from that, I think that was, yeah, that was basically a dead end. There was just the chest there. Other way, I still haven't gone though, so. We're in the west. Let's see where this goes. Of course, back to high gravity now. <laughs> Door here, too. You know what? Let's we'll see where this goes. something of note in here. Who knows, right? Okay, well, it goes to another room. So, I'll take that. Hey, apparently there's a chest in here. Is it real or fake? Well, we'll find out. Hey, it's not attacking me yet. It's real. What's that? Ooh, giant refractor. Hey, you can use that refractor later. Oh, cool. Nice. <laughs> okay, so maybe that's a...
Hey, here we are, giant refractor, yeah. Power source for something, okay, so maybe we need to power some things. <laughs> I love how I just, like, wasted one of my homing missiles, but, you know, that's fine. Not the first time I've done that. <laughs> Probably won't be the last either. Okay, so looks like I'm getting somewhere. Okay, one of these guys again. Sure. Okay, well, those guys are no big deal. At least from what I've seen of them, anyway. Oh, another one? Yeah, don't mind if I do. <laughs> There's the boomerang arms coming back to them, like that. I don't know, I, I mean, Mega Man has a drill arm, a vacuum arm. He could have a boomerang arm, too, you know. Defense area floor B1, huh? Well, I guess I'm going up even further then, huh? Well, for the side area? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I think we're good for this area of Elysium, so... Looks like you've made it to the residential area. Does it bring back any memories? Residential area? Oh! Do this. Oh, okay, yeah, this looks kind of like... Yeah, this looks kind of like planet-like, almost like holograms, even. Okay, I'm back to normal physics, which is good. What's this? An old house. Unfortunately, the door isn't working. Well... So this is a Mega Man's old house? I mean, it could have been. That's possible. Like, this gate isn't working? Okay, so that gate is not functional. But there seem to be some that are, like these ones here. One. The elevator from where I was. Okay, well, I guess the next thing to do is to go into one of the gates, right? Oh, okay, well, I guess so. Sure, why not? Let's do it. Oh, is this like some kind of maze, maybe? It's kind of similar, but also different. Am I going through this one now? Oh, okay, I see where I am. I see where I am. I'm basically traveling along the... Okay, so this is, this is basically a maze. Okay, cool. So one-way gates. I wonder if these, any of these places can be entered. Yeah, no. Oh, this one. Yeah, I cannot go that way. Yeah, I'm afraid this one's a dead end, so... I think. Pretty sure this is a dead end. Oh, we get- yeah, this is definitely a lot more complex. If this is the last part of the game, this is definitely, like, quite a bit more complex than the main gate, which was basically a spiral, so... For the record. 
think this connects down over here. Are there other gates down here that... Okay, yeah, these ones... Oh! Test here. Okay, that's cool. Accessory pack alpha. What does that do? Sounds cool, whatever it is. Better than my original accessory pack. Oh, hey, look at that. Yeah, attack, energy, range, and rapid all in one. Okay, that's kind of nice. Yeah, the booster pack Omega is really good. Yeah, that's really good. I kind of stick with my current setup, but but yeah, that's that's pretty cool nonetheless, though. My question is how I originally got here, but you know, hey, I guess I'll have to check these areas for chests, so. That was clever, hiding it behind the gate like that, though, I must admit. We. Okay, I probably started over there, right? This is probably the spot where I started. Yeah, okay, this is where I started. Yeah, I guess we'll go exploring for a bit. <laughs> That's for sure. I don't think I checked out this one yet. Okay, this one is just a dead end in general. Okay, well. A dead end with like nothing, <laughs> nothing else there pretty much. that we'll return to the starting one which is over here okay I got it I think I got it so clever of the so clever of a uh, Capcom to hide a chest behind one of these though okay, right this is the starting area right that's the elevator right there Okay, I'm gonna go check out these other... Oh! Something's here! Oh, yeah! Okay, now all of a sudden the music just got more sinister. Jeez. That's creepy, actually. <laughs> Creepy yet cool at the same time. Hey, just in time for Halloween, right? Okay. Now it got uh, less intense again. <laughs> Is there anything over on this one? Yeah, just a dead end, I take it? Yeah. This one's a dead end. I'm getting, like, Lost Woods vibes almost from this. That way, 
so maybe I can go this way. Sure. Or maybe that theme just plays when there are Reaver bots around. Maybe that's it. Okay, that door doesn't work either. Now with this one, there's only really one way to go, so might as well go that one way. This place is definitely, like, really eerie, though. All right. Check the house. Don't forget to check the house. Okay, good. Check these other gates just to make sure there's no chest behind them or anything. Okay, good. <laughs> Have to make sure of this, right? Okay, is there anything here as well? Give this opportunity to look around a little bit. Yeah, nope, no chests. I guess it was just that one that one one that had a chest. <laughs> At least for now. I'll check the others though, so. Okay, I guess the only way to go now is forward. Let's see here. Okay, I think this is the main path that I'm supposed to follow, so I'll, I'll check the house again. Pretty sure. Oh, okay, we got more. <laughs> Some of them are even greeting me. Oh, <laughs> I love that the uh, that the Zenny just like dropped immediately off the side, right? I wonder too. Does the how the does the direction of the door point correspond to like the correct way to go? It might. You oh, okay? Maybe it does. Maybe that's the purpose of the doors. Okay, well, I'll go this way anyway, because there's another, like, spot, spot over here. Yeah, I, th I think it does. I think it does. Actually, I'm quite amazed that I figured it out. And I think I see a chest. Yep, there's a chest there. What we got here. Wow, 60,000 Zenny. Jeez. Nice. <laughs> uh, the baby. Hey there, Voodle. How's it going? Welcome into Mega Man Legends 2, and we're here in Elysium. Apparently, this is the residential area, so that's pretty cool. I think I'm towards the end of this game, too, so this might be, like, the final bit of the game. I'm not sure. It does have that vibe, though, so... I, ha I just have a feeling I'm close to the end. <laughs> so, we got, like, this bit of a maze here, but I think I figured it out, so... Either by looking at the map or otherwise. That's the building where the master lived. Oh wow. I'll bet you probably spent a lot of your time there, didn't you? Oh wow, backstory stuff. That's for sure.
Wow, that's cool, though. How far does this go? Jeez. Okay, that goes pretty dang far. Let's peek in before sleep. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely, Woodle. Feel free, no worries. I know sleep's important, so. Like, one heck of a massive plane, too. Jeez, it's like... I'm almost getting vibes of, like, uh, the moon from Majora's Mask here or something. What is this? Refractor inserted. Okay. Okay, shuttle bait? Okay, no, not quite. Good to know that's there, but not quite. <laughs> There's also stuff here to kill. <laughs> okay, so that's probably why this place is so big. To accommodate these guys. Well, <laughs> still pretty weak, though. I'm afraid. Well, considering my buster and how it is right now. Yeah, <laughs> get wrecked. I think this is the master's house, too. wonder if there's something in there. You know, the one who actually made uh, Mega Man in the first place. wonder what's in here. Oh, hey, well, there's data. That's one thing. <laughs> Well, you're about halfway there, Megman. You've done a great job so far. This was the master's house, you know. You leave here and go towards the back. An elevator that will take you straight back to the shuttle bay. Okay, so I can go... Oh, I see. I can go back to uh, the shuttle bay, which is immediately back to where I was before. Like, how I immediately got here. That's cool. That's cool. I don't know if it still works, but if you fix it, you can easily get back to where Yuna is. Okay, cool. Awesome. Well, I did, so... <laughs> Give myself an energy recharge. What should I do? Let's see. What should I do now? Looks like Sarah has placed a lot of guardians around the library. Okay, sure. A lot of guardians, huh? Well, we'll have to see who they are. I'm prepared for this. <laughs> I think I'm prepared for this anyways. Money do I have? Oh, wow. Over three, 300k. You know what I could do with this homing missile? I could actually upgrade its energy even further. Let's see this first, though. Water has been destroyed. Yikes. Okay, well. There's only one way to go. Transfer to Mother Area? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. The gravity's back to normal. Are you ready? Things are going to get a little different from here on. Okay. This, this is it, Mega Man. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, we got some epic music too. Okay, well, we'll see. I'm all charged up. We'll see how this goes. Oh, this is some pretty sick music, honestly. <laughs> Definitely feels really climactic. <laughs> what is that? Wait a second. Oh! Oh, hang on. This was a this was an earlier boss, wasn't it? I think this was. Yeah. Hey, it's time for a boss re boss rush, I guess. <laughs> or boss refights. Oh jeez. No. 
Okay, I see. I gotta hit it with his mouth open. That makes sense. Okay, I think it's dead. Okay, that's one. <laughs> okay, I didn't actually lose that much health against that, so that's good. I have to get a little bit... Oh, jeez. Get a little bit more down here. And these little, uh, <laughs> beaver bots that are still alive. That's how I got in here in the first place. Okay, I think everything is... Everything's cleared out here. Okay, I guess there's only one way to go, right? Oh, hey, it's a chest. Is it fake, though? Well... Oh, it's real. Wow, a hundred thousand zenny. Jeez, look at that. 424k. Yikes. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. But hey, I still have a hyper cartridge, so I'm fine for the most part. I'm gonna hug the walls just in case there's like a... Okay. Wow, B5. Sure. Down we go, I guess. Yeah, it looks like there was a boss refight, so maybe there might be more. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, here we go. I'll save my special weapon ammo for the most part, if I can. Uh-oh, I'm burning. <laughs> okay, well... Burning from the cold, if anything. and stuff. Okay. <laughs> Man, this is fun. Okay, so that's the way you avoid that. It's pretty easy to avoid. Now it's doing this thing. <laughs> Beesh. Ow. Okay, I think it's dead. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yep, seems dead to me. <laughs> Goodbye, fish thingy. I have to remember what the other bosses were now. 
think that was that Claymore dude. I think that he was the boss of the Nino Ruins. <clears throat> Something like that. Okay. Okay, I'm pretty well prepared for this stuff at least, so, you know. Oh, hey. Another elevator or something? Well, maybe not yet. <laughs> well, we'll continue more. Oh, okay. Here's the other, another elevator, though. A6? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. <laughs> I want to roll. Let's go. This must be the this must be the library, or if not, pretty close. We call this the mother zone anyway. Perhaps the mother load is down here. Oh, what is this? Oh. Okay, might be wise to use an energy canteen here now. Okay, yeah, sure. Okay, I see how to defeat these guys now. All matter of projectiles spinning out. <laughs> okay, I see what to do. So Buster and then homing missile until until they die, basically. Okay, well, it looks like the dead. Guardian the gravity to normal. Oh, nice. Let's go. <laughs> when I think about it, too, like that, uh, that particular Reaver bot, like, you fight that one underwater, so that's what makes it tricky. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. July the Neon, hello. Welcome and thanks for the raid again. How's it going, by the way, July? Neon and. Welcome in everyone as well. My name is Savage Wizardrobe. I'm a Wind Waker Wizardrobe. I do things like random items and speed runs. Sometimes, but sometimes I do casual stuff too. Let me give you a shout out there. We're playing Vintage Story. Nice. So yeah, we are, currently we are playing Mega Man Legends 2 for the first time. And uh, well, uh, let's see. I think I might be approaching the end of the game. I, d I don't know. Don't tell me. I It feels very end gamey though. So, you know. I'd be willing to go with that. <laughs> How was your stream, by the way? How was the game? Okay, nice. Yeah, I've been pretty busy lately myself, so I haven't, haven't had too much time to stream lately, but I still enjoy it when I can. Oh my god, 150,000 zenny. Jeez. With that, I'm actually kind of tempted to go back and then upgrade this thing to... Give this, give, yeah, upgrade this homing missile's energy even more. I'm tempted. I'm really tempted. You know what? Let's do it. I have enough money for this. Am I gonna use this money for, yeah, look at that. You know, let's go back and then uh, upgrade some stuff. Even more. <laughs> I know I could go forward. I could go forward even more, but I want to go back. And also refill my canteens and stuff, so. With leftover money I have, so. Okay. And I can qu get quickly back to the, to the start, which is nice, so. 
You know what? I might as well. I might as well make this homing missile as best as I can. <laughs> For the sake of this, so. Oh yeah, right. Which room was this? Okay, this was. Oh yeah, this was the room with the big fish. Okay, cool. The fish boss. <laughs> I don't know what what it's called, but I call it the fish boss. <laughs> Okay, let's go up again. Okay. Yeah, now, now it really makes it really makes sense to go back and upgrade this energy to the max. It's as high as it can go, so you know. Yeah, 150,000 zenny is honestly a ton, so you know. Is there anything else to this room as well? I have a feeling no, but hey, even if even if these bosses come back, that's honestly fine. I don't mind. Cause hey, I'll have infinite energy for the well, maybe infinite energy for this thing. If not infinite, then practically infinite. This plus a hyper hyper cartridge, I'm sh I'm set basically. So hi, data. Give myself that energy charge. Yeah, a quick save here. Okay, let's go uh, max out this energy for this homing missile. That would be nice. <laughs> you want to kill these things out here? No, killing them is kind of slow, so I'm going to go over here. Yeah, let's go back down to the shuttle bay. I can probably get- yeah, I can get back quickly, too. That's actually really good. Oh! Look at this, there's a chest here. Bean Eye, huh? Wait a second. Lens? Okay, I have lens and I have a laser manual. Hmm. Interesting. Didn't she say she needed a lens? Of some sort. Okay, and Data's still here, so that's nice. Hmm, what is it? Return to Terra. Yeah, sure, why not? All right then, let's go back to Terra and your friend, shall we? At least for now. Yeah, so here we are back on, uh, back where we, uh, <laughs> back where we're familiar. I kind of, I kind of want to see what this does. I have a feeling it's going to give me the Shining Laser, which I know was a really strong special weapon in Legends 1. So, but I am kind of tempted just to use the homing missile. Good luck, Mega Man. Let's see this. Like, Megan and I won't be able to see each other for a while, but I'm not scared. I know we'll see each other again soon. Good luck, Mega Man. Secret, what is this? I realize now that everything I've done up to now has had Mega Man by my side. I've only realized now how much I love him. I'm so happy I have him in my life. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, she loves me, all right. She definitely loves me. Okay. Okay, so what should I do? To, oh yeah, I want to refill my canteens and stuff, probably. Go to the development room. Bike chip, what does this do? Oh yeah, avoid slipping on ice. Pleated shoes, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> why not? <laughs> hey there, Jesse, how's it going, by the way? If you get married, it would be mega roller roll, roll man, I know, right? <laughs> what this, softball? Nope, don't have that. How about this stuff? Oh, a new item? Yeah, sure. Why not? Shining la- Okay, yeah. It's a l Shining laser is a lot easier to get in this game than it was in Legends 1. That's cool. Okay, yeah, we're definitely in the end game now. <laughs> I'm kind of curious to see how much it costs to upgrade it. I powered laser beams, so holy crap. Okay, yeah, that's... 
Yeah, it's quite expensive. I've, I mean, I've already put a lot of stuff into... Okay, rapid is... Yeah, special and rapid is fun. Range. It's like 100,000 zenny right there. I'm probably better off uh, sticking with a homing missile, honestly. I might put a little into the shining laser, but we'll see. Yeah, energy, sure. 500,000 zenny? Yeah, I can afford that. Let's see. Max, max, max the energy out. Oh my god, it is infinite. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Just like the active buster. Okay, that's like a million zenny. This is like a... Yeah, this is like a million zenny as well. So, I think having the rest of it max like that, is, that's honestly pretty fine. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, let's move somewhere else. And just get my... Uh, i just uh, go back to Yasuyanke, I guess, right? That'd be cool. <laughs> back where the whole game started. Actually, back where I found uh, one of the pieces for the hoeing missile anyways at, at first, so, you know. <laughs> I might as well uh, get a couple extra packs and stuff. Bye, let's see here. Okay, medicine pack. It will also automatically refill my stuff too, so that's okay. Probably afford a bit more actually. You know what? A couple more of these. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> Fine by me. <laughs> All right. So I can at least quickly get back to where I was in Elysium, which is very nice. It's that elevator that goes all the way down to the shuttle bay, so that's cool. Wonder if I talk to Roll, like, wonder if I could do something too, so we'll see. I mean, I'll stick with the homing missile, but that's me. I'm sure the shining laser is also cool. There's something I want. Let's see here. I think we should uh, subscribe to the newspaper, but it's 3,000 cents. Yeah, I can afford that. Why not? Great. I'll call the paper office today. I'll leave the papers in the living room so we can all read them. Talk to roll a bit more. Something I want. I've been thinking, we need a new TV, but it will cost 25,000 cents. Do you have any money? No, not really. Not anymore. Okay, I guess we'll go, yeah, with that done, we'll go back to, uh... I figure I might as well spend all this money, so, you know. Back to Calbania Island. Back to Yuna again. Yeah, I'm ready to go back to Elysium, sure. <laughs> Yeah, here we go. This should be the yeah. This yeah. This is so convenient. It's great. Oh no! Ah! <laughs> of course, of course, there was a thing here. Jeez, <laughs> man, these enemies are the bane of my existence. This game just knows where to where to put them <laughs> to piss me off. I guess, <laughs> but it's fine. Okay, let's uh, fully charge up. Hey, now with this, I won't even need that hyper cartridge anymore, so you know. Kinda wanna, I kinda wanna try this thing now. <laughs> just, just saying, I kinda wanna try this thing now. See how good it is. Oh yeah. Okay, there's, there's still a cooldown on it, unlike the vacuum arm. So you can't spam it like the active buster from the first state game, but... I mean, infinite energy is still really good, so, you know. <laughs> oh, hey, and they stay dead, too. Nice. <laughs> hey, well. Guess you know what this means. Hey, 
Okay, I don't really need to fully explore that part of the map. I get that this is kind of like a boss rush, so to speak. I hear right. I I hear like other Mega Man games do the same thing. Yeah, like Mega Man X and stuff like that. So you know. Curiously, Legends One does not. But it's kind of cool to see that happen in this game, honestly. <laughs> okay. Speed through these hallways here. I also had those other uh, boots <laughs> made, right? But yeah, cleated shoes. Here they are. I see surfaces left slipping. Yeah, it would have been nice for the last dungeon, but you know, I did it without them. It wasn't too bad without them, honestly. funny because too because I found them after the dungeon was over so you know or at least I found the park the part to make them there you go here oh yeah I definitely went past here definitely went this far <laughs> And then this was, uh, yeah, this was uh, this room that had, like, those three, like, kind of jellyfish-looking reaver bots in it. Not Metroids, but, you know. Okay, I'm so glad I went back to get this thing upgraded now. Now I can just, like, annihilate things. B7, jeez, okay, there are a lot of floors to this place. Hey, well, I'll be ready for anything, I'm sure of that. Oh, there's something in here. Oh yeah, there's something in here. You know what? <laughs> okay, here I actually might want a little bit more range. So you know what? Let's change my buster parts a little bit. What I do here? Okay, that gives me some range, which is good. A lot of rapid, which is good. Not critical, but good. Where's that accessory pack alpha? Maybe I'll put that on instead of this. So slightly less attack, slightly less energy, but more, yeah, but more range. Okay, that should be okay, I guess. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> Okay, cool. I can get rid of the I can get rid of those guys. <laughs> yeah, got got a lot of spamming the spamming that uh I almost call I almost called it the active buster again. Well the homing missile. Ow? Okay, that hurt. I think I have that uh, chip to resist, like, uh, fire damage and stuff. Okay, cool. <laughs> what the explosion, though? Okay, so that was, like, the main Reaverbot boss from, like, the fire dungeon, I remember. Volcata ruins, I guess. Oh, how freaking big is this room? Okay, well, it's big. Big for, well, big Reaverbot. Oh, okay, it looks like the door's over here. Or at least a door. I'll see if there are others, though. I somehow doubt it, but you know. Man, it's such a big room, jeez. Yeah, like, look at that. <laughs> Freaking huge. It takes up like most of this full floor probably. <laughs> hey well if <laughs> anyways, I'm really dang powerful, so you know. Yeah, look, look at that. <laughs> I think I'll I think I'll use this setup for now. There's a bit more range with this, yeah. 
Still some pretty dang good rapid, honestly. Hey, well, looks like looks like there's more. B8. Wow, geez. <laughs> Not over yet. Oh, hey. Hey, some more peaceful song. Peaceful yet somehow unsettling too, based on what came before it. That was a fun boss rush, though. I, I enjoyed that. Oh, hey. Like, there are more, uh, more pathways here. I wonder if I missed something back there. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I'll kind of check anyways, but we'll see. Okay, I don't think I... Yeah, I don't think I did. At least not, not there anyway. Okay, well, we got some branching paths now. Okay, I see. This is a, okay. This is a continuous path. It's just a different uh, direction. Okay, I see. It's not an intersection. It looked like it though. Okay, this is probably the Elysium Library. Up here. Those look like the four keys. That looks like data. Definitely looks like data, all right. I remember collecting all these keys. Okay, well, this might be the final. Sh this might be the final show. That yo, yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> this is the library where Sarah is waiting for you. The library contains the genetic code of the humans who built the master system. It's up to you, Mega Man. Do you obey the system or destroy it? <laughs> yeah, that's a that's an <laughs> yeah that's an interesting uh, an interesting decision I have to make. I want to say destroy the system. Let's see energy charge. Let's do that first. What should I do? Only about the past. Let's see here. A long, long time ago, you traveled with the master to Terra. After the master died, you you fought to fulfill his dying wish. At first, Yuna fought against you with the rest, but as time went by, she slowly came to understand what you were trying to do. In the end, she tried to take a neutral position, neither helping you nor fighting against you. Frustrated with Yuna's decision, Sarah traveled to her herself to fight you. However, she wasn't able to bring her full power to bear outside of Elysium, and the two of you fought to each other to a standstill, each of you expending all your energy. Yuna took that opportunity to seal both of you away inside stasis fields. You're probably wondering why, when you were found, you were in a baby's body. That's because your original body was almost totally destroyed in your fight with Sarah. We had no choice but to reset all your parameters so you could heal. Although resetting a unit flushes its memory, it also restores its body to its original configuration. To make sure Sarah never found the Master's genetic code, it transferred all essential data files to me. That's why you were able to get your memory back even after being reset. Well, most of your memory, anyway. Too bad you couldn't see Gramps' face when he found you, though. <laughs> oh yeah, I've seen that before. What should I do now? Destiny waits beyond the door, Mega Man. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is like final boss territory, I think. <laughs> I think Sarah's the final boss of this game, so... Dang, okay, here goes nothing. I might have some additional time tonight, too. That would be, that'd be interesting, right? Well, I guess we're doing this. Okay, do you want to make sure I saved again? So, paranoid save, just because. I think, I think that, yeah, okay, I'm saved, cool. 
Okay, here goes nothing. Well, you've made it. You've reached the library. That's where the carbon reinitialization program is executed from, and where you can stop it. That's right. Destroy the system or defend it. It's your choice, Mega Man. I can't tell you what to do. This unit will attempt to infiltrate Mother's logic circuits. There is no guarantee as to how effective such an action will be, but it should impair Mother's reaction time to some extent. Interesting. <laughs> this unit's powers are limited, but it shall assist you as much as possible. The library is shielded against any and all transmissions. I won't be able to help you anymore. Oh, that makes Good sense. Luck, Mega Man. Sure. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Yuna. <laughs> hey, here goes nothing. Let's open it. Okay, well, here we are. Here we are. Okay, maybe I'll save again because I uh, went through that text there. Maybe. Probably an idea. Okay, looks like there's a, yeah, there's a console there too. Okay, well. I'm totally expecting a final boss here, so, you know, <laughs> possibly, possibly this Sarah. So, you know, likely this Sarah, actually. Okay, well, I'm going to fight against the system. I'm going to want, I'm going to destroy the system. Okay, here goes nothing. Execution of carbon reinitialization program has been paused, awaiting order to continue from other unit. Execution of carbon reinitialization program has been paused, awaiting order to continue from other unit. Pause? Oh. Execution of carbon reinitialization Why? program has That's been weird. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Something happened. Oh yeah. I have a way for you, Mega Man. Here we are. <laughs> Mega Man Trigger, that's my name. I could have executed the carbon reinitialization program at any time, but I chose not to. Interesting. Do you know why? Unlike you, I cannot act against the system. I can only act within the parameters it defines for me. Indeed, I cannot think of anything beyond the system's limits. Wow. That is why I cannot comprehend what could have motivated the master to attempt to destroy the system. I am jealous of you. You were close to the master. You understood his thoughts in a way I will never be able to. Yuna chose to remove herself from the system, even though she is, like myself, Mother Unit. I cannot do that. I've waited for you, whom the master loved. Perhaps by defeating you, who is so sympathetic to the master's desires, I can purge myself of these troublesome emotions. Uh-oh. I don't like the sound of this. Come then, Mega Man Trigger. Show me what a first-class purifier is capable of. Oh, yeah. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, that's me. That's me. Okay, here goes nothing. <laughs> okay, she's doing something. Okay, she's teleporting. Ow. Okay, that hurts. Okay, well, okay. Oh, we got, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay, it looks like I can kind of jump over that. Okay, okay, that seems, that seems to be effective, so we'll go with that. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> She's like ramming me or something. Okay. 
take this. Uh oh. Okay, I think we got some high gravity here. Okay, I need an energy canteen, like right now, or even this. Yeah, you know what? Sure. Well, looks like she has powers to manipulate gravity, so that's that's something. Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> Okay, I can dodge that one pretty easy. Okay, that one, uh, okay. I think the way to dodge that is to roll out of the way, maybe. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting hit by that one a lot. Okay, oh, another energy canteen usage is fine. Okay, she's spawning all these, uh, oh my god. Okay, well, that works. Oh, jeez. Okay, I think I'm supposed to dodge that by, uh, rolling at the last second, maybe? Okay, I have to figure out how to dodge all of her attacks. Okay, well, that one uh, that one's not too bad. <laughs> Neither is that one. Okay, so the cue for that one is when she says ready. Okay, got it. Just like Mega Man Juno, I guess. <laughs> Okay, that's, uh, that's how you uh, get rid of that. Okay, that works too. <laughs> okay, I'm figuring this out little by little. Okay, that worked. <laughs> Okay, that's that one's pretty hard to avoid. That one's not too bad. Okay, that one's hard to avoid when she's like right next to you, though. Okay, there we go. Maybe it makes sense to not be locked on for this. Ow. <laughs> Okay, it looks like I'm probably gonna die to this first attempt, which is, uh... Okay, well, got past the first phase, I guess. <laughs> That's something. Gats is attempting to assist you by invading my internal systems. I do not understand. <laughs> A servitor unit such as Gats should be unable to disobey the system's commands. Still, Gats? another unit like myself is superior to a servitor unit. His sabotage attempts are a distraction, nothing more. When last we struggled, you imprisoned me on Terra. Perhaps this time, it will be you who is imprisoned. Uh-oh, I don't like that. Okay, well. Well, things are gonna, are gonna get real. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> There's gotta be, there might be a second phase to this, we'll see, we'll see. Just like with Mega Man Juno. <laughs> oh, oh, there's something, all right. Uh oh. <laughs> what is that? What is that? Oh my god. <laughs> it's like an angelic thing. Well. Shall we 
continue? Oh yeah, second phase, let's go. No. Oh my god, yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> okay, at least I got through the first phase. <laughs> yeah, and I died, predictably. That's, that's supposed to happen on a final boss, though, so you know. That's all right. Okay, I'll have to figure out how to avoid all of her attacks. Stuff like that. I think I should be able to, I should be able to skip the cutscenes things. Obviously, I'm not gonna get on the first try, but that's fine, so. I did a, made a pretty good attempt, though, so. And we'll start the, we'll start it again, and then I'll just uh, do better this time, I guess, right? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> it's the idea. Oh, whoops. <laughs> yeah, I have to figure out how to dodge that attack in particular, because that's a really uh, devastating one. Okay, now that I can get a couple good, uh, hits off, though. Okay, good. There are certain attacks that I can get good hits off of. Okay, and then some that I can't, such as that one. Okay. Or this one, even. That one doesn't, thankfully that one doesn't hurt too much. I thought I jumped. Okay, well, I guess not. Ow. Okay, thankfully I avoided that, <laughs> somehow. Same with that one. Oh, what? Okay. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how to avoid that one in particular. I think it's going to the side and moving closer to her, maybe, is how to avoid it. Okay, that was, like, too close for comfort. <laughs> Same with that. Oh my god, I'm just getting destroyed here. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> I figured I'd die to that. That's fine. It's because the trick is they, uh, they have like a, I think they have like a light homing property there, so. We'll see. It's, it's basically just a matter of learning all her attacks and then going from there, so, you know. It definitely seems harder than Juno, but then again, it's my first time ever fighting her, so, you know. <laughs> Slightly different. Yeah, a little, little bit different boss and everything, but, you know.
Okay, that, did, that actually didn't hurt that much. Okay, maybe the idea is to not lock on. Okay, maybe like intentionally get hit once for like uh Yeah, I could have easily avoided that. Yeah, just like that. Okay, there we go. Okay, well, I actually avoided that somehow. Ow. Okay, time for the... I almost said fried chicken, but heck and clench. There we go. get hit by the second one, it's fine, because I have the iframes and stuff. Okay, I need to be jumping to the side to avoid that, I think. Nope, I wasn't ready. <laughs> That time it was, though. Okay, just trying to learn about all the attacks here, how to avoid them all. Okay, she seems to be doing that. I call it the ready attack. I guess the ready attack before, uh... Okay, good, avoid that one. That's that's the easiest one to avoid, I find. Ow. <laughs> This one you want to be far away. Okay, somehow I avoided that. Okay, well, that's first phase, first phase done. Now for the second. All right. Okay, I have to figure out how to avoid these attacks and stuff. Okay, let's use that energy canteen, at least what I have uh, left of it. Oh god. Gotcha. 
No. That caught me indeed. Oh, okay, I, I see what that does. That's like a that's like a vortex there. Okay, like a black hole almost. Okay, cool. That was that's what that does. Okay, so I think the homing missile is like very useful here. I think I might want to avoid uh, yeah, when uh, I don't want to lock on all the time during that. I don't think because like that way I can concentrate on avoiding and at attacks and stuff. I see, I see. That makes sense. Because of course that will uh. Cause my view to be distorted and stuff. So okay, I'm am getting it little by little. I'm getting a little further e each time, so that's good. I'm learning. Okay, getting hit by that once is just fine. Still don't know how to avoid that attack like consistently, so. Okay, let's do the picnic lunch here, I guess. Okay, that seems to work. Just like circles, circle strafe and jump. Okay, that actually works pretty well. <laughs> okay, that's how you avoid that. Okay, that's a roll out of the way thing. Okay, I think I wanna actually be mostly like, not locked on during this. Okay, yeah, circle strafe time, I guess. Okay, here I can lock on, though. That's fine. <laughs> yep. Ready for you there. <laughs> okay, I'm getting better at this. Now, how about I try this fight without locking on? You know what? That might work. <laughs> okay, so I think I understand the attacks here now. That way I can better avoid taking damage. Yeah, look at this. Now I'm not taking damage from this stuff. Ready? Yep, ready, ready. <laughs> That's right. You know what? I think I might need to change my buster parts too. I might need to go for range. Let's see. That gives me range. That gives me a little range. This does not really give me range. Let's sniper you. Okay, here we go. Something give me rep max and like energy and range or attack and range here. That I have. Attack and rapid. Do I have attack and range? Yeah, okay, I do. Buster Uno Omega's attack and range. I want the sniper unit Omega on, wherever that is. Okay, here it is. I 
guess something that gives me like a range of plus one, maybe. Which one is this? Okay, this is the one. Okay, that's that one. That's not low attack. Good energy and good rapid, though. You know what? That's that might be okay. Yes, the attack's what my special weapon's for, right? Ready. <laughs> Ready? Okay, well, that's the first phase down. <laughs> okay, now for second phase. I may not even need to max up. Okay, trying to figure out how to dodge that one. Okay, I have to go a little bit- I have to go a little bit to either side, I think. Okay, I think that's how you avoid that. Yeah, but not too far. Ow. Okay, that's how you avoid that. Cool. There's a little window. Ah, dang it. <laughs> I tried to avoid that. <laughs> Okay, I think I see how to avoid it though, but yeah. Okay, perhaps I shouldn't have maxed out all my range, but you know, that's that's fine. That's why I got the special weapon, so... Even if I have to get a little bit closer while the weapon recharges... Kind of okay, right? Yeah, to have like all that rapid and that firepower... range currently actually okay it's all short but i i mean i can make it work so okay well i didn't get hit that much Yep, born ready. Okay, well, if I'm not close, I can't really avoid it, so. I was a little concerned I wanted to go on a little bit early. Alright, the gravity returns to I have to remember the gravity returns to normal after that. I have to re remember the gravity returns to normal after that second one. Am 
My lord. <laughs> Just getting creamed sometimes. Okay. No. <laughs> no, I wasn't. Oh my god, dude. Now I was. Okay, <laughs> yeah, this, this attempt's not going that great. Let's be honest. Ready that time. Ready? Yep, that time too. <laughs> yeah, she's definitely harder than Juno, that's for sure. Okay. I thought I jumped. Guess not. Okay, well, no. <laughs> yeah, dead again. <laughs> dead again. Okay, well. <laughs> if I can get to the second phase, then maybe I can, maybe I can win, but you know, it's just a matter of getting there at this point. Just a matter of, like, learning the attacks and stuff. That's literally all there is to it. If I can learn the attacks and consistently dodge them, then I'm fine, right? <laughs> that's- that's it. It's no secret. That's not con that's not dodging. <laughs> that's dodging though. I was ready that time. Yeah, I'm hoping for that attack. We'll use a bit of that energy canteen. Oh, of course I got hit by it twice. It's not good to get hit by it, but if you have to get hit by it, don't get hit by it more than once. <laughs> you know what I mean. Okay, I was a good distance away, so that's fine. Okay. <laughs> Ready? 
Okay. I, w I worried there a little bit. I thought I was going to get hit. Okay, I'm not too in danger yet. Yet, I say. Actually, a nice shot. <laughs> cool. Okay, should probably use that picnic lunch now. How much canteen do I have? Okay, I have some left. That's good. Okay, there are definitely good chances to damage her there, too. <laughs> Especially with this homing missile. So great that I can use this while moving, though. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that, that's phase one down. Now for phase two, the harder one. Oh, I know what she's doing. <laughs> yeah, I think I want to get close to her there, actually, or closer. Ow, god damn it. <laughs> Okay, that works. Okay, well, that's how you avoid that, I guess. I'm dead. Oh no, I'm dead now. <laughs> oh, I got closer that time though. <laughs> hey, yeah, I have to watch out for those uh, vortex things, that's for sure. Okay, yeah. <laughs> well, I'll try again. Get it. Got pretty far that time, so you know. <laughs> Okay, eventually we're going to meet this tonight, I'm sure, I'm sure. This is most definitely the final boss. <laughs> Sarah is most definitely the final boss. And she's a bitch, <laughs> but you know. I'll take her out. <laughs> eventually. <laughs>
Oh, that was close. <laughs> Yeah, just keep doing just keep doing this attack and then everything's good. Like she's listening to me or something. I'm almost concerned that would have hit me there. Okay, well, I almost did. <laughs> hey, well, she's almost she's almost half health already. Okay, here comes the this is the big attack that I can't consistently avoid yet. Well, I'm sure there's a way. Hey, that one hurts a ton too, by the way. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm not sure how to avoid that attack all the time, anyways. That one, yeah, I definitely can. <laughs> Born ready, Sarah. Don't think I've had I've used my uh I don't think I've used my energy canteen at all at all yet in this fight. Yeah, let's see. At least not this time. Yep, yeah, nope. That just goes to show all about consistency. <laughs> and a few homing missiles later. Yeah, just keep doing that that attack and and the other one, please. Perfect. She's behaving. <laughs> hey, well, <laughs> she <laughs> she did not even get that last one off, which is the nasty one. So you know. Yeah, indeed you do, Sarah. Okay, so I guess if I jump through the lasers... Oh, whoops. <laughs> Not over yet. Yeah, because they seem to not track me as well. Uh... Ow. <laughs> Have to look for the safe gap. Okay, 
Ow. Oh no! Yikes. <laughs> okay, so that's what... That's the cue that she's doing that attack. Oh no, okay, this is bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> okay, got really close though. <laughs> you know, that's good. That's the, that's the bright side, I got really close. I'm starting to understand uh, that second phase now, so. Okay. <laughs> Dang, this is hard and I like it. <laughs> Not like Super Metroid or anything like that. Okay, anyways. We. <laughs> yeah, let's try it again. But it occurs to me, yeah, I could be using save states, but it won't. Because uh, I want to remain authentic to the experience. As best as possible. Okay, that was bad. I got caught in the corner there. Okay. Can't forget about the first phase, though. This room is kind of tricky as well, because, like, you can easily get caught in the corners if you're not careful. So, yeah, like that. Saw that one coming. Ready? Yeah, that one I'm still not sure how to avoid, so. Ready? It's uh, not consistently, I don't know how to avoid it consistently, anyways, Ready? without getting hit. That, because the rolling doesn't work, that gets you hit. Okay, I'll use that Technic Lunch. Okay, at least that's not horrible. It doesn't do a whole lot of damage. God. <laughs> Come on. Stop getting stuck in the corner. Kinda helps to not get stuck in the corner, you know. I need to use my canteen, at least a little bit. Yeah, this attempt's not going that great. Oh 
god, don't let it be that close. <laughs> Not a good idea. Was close. <laughs> That's the easy to avoid attack. <laughs> that one's also easy to avoid. Yep. <laughs> okay, first phase done again. Yeah, I'm consistently getting through the first phase, which is good. Now for the second. So that's how I avoid that. I think for, okay, for that attack, I want to be close to her if I remember. Whoops. I think she's gonna do the Mega Man Juno thing. Yeah, here we are. I don't know how else to call it other than the Mega Man Juno thing. Okay, well. Avoided all the lasers. Okay, good. Crap. Dang it. Yeah, and it's nice to show to show like where uh, where it actually hits and stuff. Yeah, just uh, make sure to avoid the lasers if I can. Oh well, nope. nope. <laughs> That's fine. Didn't go. Gr that didn't go great that time. I mean, I got pretty close, but not close enough. I'm getting the gist of it, though, so that's the good part. I mean, I'll probably I'll probably beat this tonight. We'll see. Like the main thing is I'm learning the patterns. So if that's if that's anything. Definitely something. I think for that second phase, I base I need more range on my Buster. For the first phase, I don't need it as much. So yeah. Still handy to have it though, of course. Of course, the homing missile coming in really handy too, of course. Okay. Yeah, still, that attack, that attack's tricky to avoid.
Nope. <laughs> Not that time. That time I was, though. Okay, I'm not going to spare that homing missile ammo. Partially because it doesn't take really take ammo anymore. Okay, I'm not in too big danger yet. Yet, I say. Now maybe I'm in danger. Well, I can, uh, once I get to low health, I can survive, like, one more hit. Okay, maybe that's how I would like I stop moving and then I uh oh. Okay, now I need that pick and clinch. Okay, good. I survived a bit longer without needing that. Okay, well, didn't quite work that time. I got close, though. Yep. <laughs> Ready when you are, Sarah. <laughs> That's a good amount of damage there. Okay, well. <laughs> okay, phase one done. Now for phase two. I think I'll change my buster parts around too a little bit. Thing is, how much range do I need here? Let's go with the. Uh, put that sniper unit Omega on, maybe. Instead of the, ax uh, the accessory pack. Got me, but for how long? Oh, ow. Oh, love it, love it early there. I used to be so good at avoiding these lasers.
Yeah, Sarah, I get it. I understand you have gravity powers or whatever. <laughs> Oh, hey, I can still attack her during that. Cool, why not? Hey, I think she's almost done. <laughs> okay, nice. Let's go. Let's go. Phase two complete. <laughs> yes. Yes, dude. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Heck yeah, let's go. Let's go, we did it. <sighs> Man, that was fun. <laughs> Feels so satisfying. I detected a sadness in his eyes. The more I obeyed the system and tried to serve the master, the sadder he seemed. Now, Trigger, thanks to you, Perhaps, perhaps the master will also smile at me as he did at you. Sarah! Well. At last, I understand. Thank you, Trigger. Oh, wow. Well. Sarah! That's a good scene. <laughs> Don't think you're going to get off that easily, Sarah. <laughs> I'm getting a tear. Oh, wow. You were always too stubborn for your own good. Hey, it's Yuna again. If you have a shell, we can transfer your primary programs over, right? Gats is dead. He died because of your gamble. If you die as well, who will be left to keep me company? You can't fool me. I know you can hear me. Still going to ignore me? Then let me tell you something. What an ending. Now that Elysium is no longer functioning, the old system the Master's people shut down has started to reactivate. It was your responsibility to monitor it. If you die and it takes over, the Master's work was for nothing. Do you want that? Do you mean to say that... The Elder System is becoming active again? Elder System? There are remnants of that system buried all over Terra in what the Carvens call ruins. There's so many, even I don't know how many there are. I doubt they'll be fully active soon, but eventually they will. If oh, we don't wow. do anything, just imagine what will happen to Terra and all its people. If the elders and their machines activate, what will your sacrifice here have been for? What do you say, Sarah? Are you up for living with the people the Master left behind? Could be a little wild, but interesting. Perhaps it might be worthwhile. I can't remember the last time I saw you smile, Sarah. Oh, that's cute. I'll think about it. <laughs> Once we figure out a way to return to Terra. <laughs> that's a very good point, Sarah. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> so what are we going to do, Mega Man? If we can't get back to Terra, then I can't give Roald her mother back. Is oh. That the only thing you're worried about? <laughs> Don't worry, Yuna. Why? I know Roll. She'll come looking for us, no matter what happens. 
Oh, that's great. <laughs> yeah, so she's her. Yeah, so she's actually using Roll's mother's body. That's interesting. Yeah, there we go. I think that's GG. <laughs> Guys, I think that's GG. <laughs> yeah, there we go. GG's. <laughs> yeah, there we go, guys. We be officially have beaten Mega Man Legends 2 for the first time. Hey, Susan Roman. I think that was Amelia in the previous game. <laughs> Tracy Ryan for Roll. Yeah, I remember that. Feral, yeah. Same voice act, voice actors. Harley Larson, yeah, Rob Smith and stuff. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, that was a that was an enjoyable game, that's for sure. Unfortunately, of course, uh, rip Mega Man Legends 3. <laughs> because uh, yeah, that's we we're leaving on a cliffhanger ending. Yes, Snaker, success! <laughs> exactly. Oh, Blucher as well, nice. <laughs> The cool credit scene too, honestly. It's Terra and Elysium as well. Terra being like Earth, basically. Man. <laughs> Mega Man Legends 1 and Legends 2, pretty great games. <laughs> They're pretty legendary, so to speak. You could say. Although, uh, for my honest opinion, I I do I do think I prefer the first one like slightly more over this one. That's just me, cause part of it's my nostalgia too, cause I have a lot of nostalgia for Legends One. Though uh, this is also a nice take on it in a natural way, natural s sequel. About like more uh, more I more islands and stuff instead of just one. I felt like, uh, I felt like, honestly, honestly speaking, like, I wasn't, like, that attached to, like, all the islands, I guess. They were cool, don't get me wrong, but I wasn't, like, too attached, like, to the people on them. Versus Cadillacs, where it's, like, it's, like, one island, so you get, like, it gets developed really well, and you get really attached to it, so you, you care about saving it, right? If anything, I cared, I cared, because, uh... Well, Catalux is part of Terra too, right? <laughs> so there's a there's an additional uh, escalation there. The carbon reinitialization program. Gamer just started to stream. Yeah, count go, count down to start going. Oh yeah, makes sense. <laughs> well, hey, mine's uh, mine's gonna end, so you know, <laughs> mine's ending pretty soon. <laughs> what a way to what a way to finish off Mega Man Legends 2, right? <laughs> I'd say that's pretty good, pretty good frickin' timing, honestly. And hey, I got the homing missile to infinite energy. That's also really cool. But yeah, regardless, I still had, still had fun with this game for sure. So it was an enjoyable time. Not too short, not too long. Good length. Just like the first one. <laughs> Man, I I had fun with this. This, you know, and of course, like the homing missile, I really vibed with because you know I don't know. What's this? I think that's the bonds. <laughs> <laughs> and Tron too. Oh wow, they built a. They, okay, they built a freaking rocket. Well, I guess they're going to Elysium as well, right? That, go. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it blew up. <laughs> oh, that's the tenth time we've tried. <laughs> oh hey. Maybe we should just give up. Teasel's there. Barrel. I got all excited when I heard that what's-his-name the monkey came back from outer space and was going to give us ancient technology. <laughs> <laughs> I love Teasel, he's great. just strange. doesn't seem to live up to all the hype. <laughs> going to the stars, a task not easily undertaken. There's bound to be difficulties. Yes, but it looks like they're on the right track to me. Luker 2. A fan, that's funny. 
I think this system was too complex. We need to keep things simpler. That way, less things can go wrong. Oh, hey. But if we build it this way, it will cost too much. If we take existing parts and put them together this way... <laughs> Calculator. See, just look at how much money we can save. Hmm, I think if we modify the fuel injectors like this, it just might solve the problem. That's interesting. It's really simple, really simple. If you would just listen to me, I could show you. See, look there. You stay out of this data. <laughs> That's to funny. Make the cargo hold smaller. We can save space and make it lighter that way. It doesn't matter. With this new amazing engine I designed, we will have more than enough power. Your engine? I'd believe you if your engines weren't made from spare parts and needed to be adjusted every five minutes. <laughs> That's funny. Everybody has tons of money to build Cat your fight. Kind of engine. Don't use the Sorry, Mega Man, but it looks like you might be stuck up there for a little while more. <laughs> looks like we both got to work cut out for us. Yeah, a little while. Yeah, like yours. <laughs> anyway, I wonder how Mega Man's doing. We have to get this thing working so we can go get him. And they're still working on it. <laughs> the end, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it's cool though to see like Tron and Tron and Roll uh, working working together like right at the very end though. That's a that's a neat dynamic. I haven't seen that yet from this series. That's cool. And then uh whenever Legends 3 is a thing, who knows? <laughs> who knows? Well, it, who knows how long it will take for them to get get that working? Possibly within our lifetimes? Well, we'll see. Originally, I know Legends 3 was cancelled, but I don't know, uh, Metroid Dread came out, so you know, and Metroid Dread was originally cancelled, so you never know. It can happen. It can happen. I won't get my hopes up too high, but it can happen. There we go, like just under 22 hours, pretty good. <laughs> Pretty good. Save your cleared game data. Okay, yeah, sure. Sure, I will. Why not? Save over... Okay, I'll save over this one. Why not? Yeah, and then there's cases like Duke Nukem Forever. Yeah, exactly, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it could, it could kind of go either way. Okay, so I saved it. Cool. I want to kind of see what happens when I reload it now. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Just out of curiosity, okay. Here I am. An Elysium. Like a post-game type thing, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. We'll find out. Okay, it looks just looks like I'm back back to where I was, I think. I assume so anyways. I guess I can I can fight Sarah again. Want to? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's like one of those kind of yeah, one of those kind of things. Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> there we go, guys. Ready? I might as well might as well try again. See how far I can get. Right. <laughs> No. <laughs> Man, that that was a fun that was a fun final boss though, honestly. Definitely harder than Juno for sure, so you know, but a little a couple of similarities to Juno. Yeah, like this attack or uh some of her other attacks. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that one has like a. No.
Yeah, Sarah's definitely a mean final boss, though. Let's say that. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> well, I'm just, I'm just like surviving by the skin of my teeth here. Okay, now I need, now I need some of that picnic lunch. Yeah, that attack's really hard to avoid. Oh, well. Right next to me. <laughs> yep. I think so. Okay, <laughs> bit, bit close there. But yeah, there we go. Let's... It's officially been my uh, first blind playthrough of uh, first playthrough of Mega Man Legends 2. So you know that's pretty cool. <laughs> definitely, def definitely had fun. Had fun with this game. All that fun stuff. Okay, cool. Oh, that's too close. But maybe not if she does that. I was so close. Okay, yeah, definitely got past the first phase again, no problem. So, you know. What did I do for here? I think I changed this out for, like, a Sniper Uno Omega or something. Yeah, I think so. Oh wow, baiting me so much. <laughs> okay, doing this again. At least that attack's like... <laughs> Pretty easy to dodge, all things considered. Oh, wow. Oh god, ow. Yeah man, the homing missile, I just realized how useful the homing missile is just in this little part alone. Okay, now we're doing the lasers. You know what that reminds me of? I think I think that attack reminds me of uh 
Metroid Prime 3, actually. Yeah, I'm dead. That's okay. Yeah, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> Another solid attempt, but oh well. I beat this game, so there you go, guys. <laughs> I just wanted to see what happened when I loaded up my file again, so I was just curious. But hey, there we go. Another uh, another Mega Man game under my belt. So, it's both been Mega Man Legends. One, as in Mega Man 64, like the N64 version that I've played. And now this, so... <clears throat> I look forward to playing other Mega Man games in the future, that's for sure. Definitely had fun with this, so... <laughs> absolutely. And it's a good time for me to finish stream, too, so, you know. Do have work tomorrow and stuff. Yeah, I think that is a good closing point for tonight. And such has been my first ever playthrough of Mega Man Legends 2. Hopefully you all enjoyed, too, by the way. <laughs>